Hi guys, welcome back to Pink K-Pop Academy. Today we are doing review three, which is focused mainly on chest and hips, but also includes some arms and footwork review as well. Now, as the other two videos, this is a part of the 30 day beginner program. So if you're doing that, that's awesome. But if you're not, you can still um, just take part in this video as review. And if you'd like more info on the 30 day beginner program, there's a link in the description. Okay. So today we're going to be using Drunk Dazed by In Hypen because it is a great song. It's a lovely, strong beat in it that helps us with uh, finding our beats for review. So what I'm going to do now, if you're new to the review videos, is I'm just going to go through all the moves we're going to be doing to the song, which we'll do at the end. Okay. So we're going to go through them step by step, which will be a review of the moves and some of them will have moves, um, little pieces added for some extra details and extra fun. Okay, and then we'll do the song at the end. And then you guys can um, practice using that song a couple of times, I would say at least two or three times because today is review day. And then if you're taking the program after this, you would also do it one or two times per day after that. Okay, but for now, let's get into the moves. All right. So in the chest and hips video, we talked about lean. So we're going to start with some leans. Okay. So start with the feet apart, nice and steady, okay? And you're gonna just push straight across, okay? So at the ribs, you're pushing straight across. Your shoulders are gonna stay perfectly steady. You're just pushing over to the side at the ribs and over to the other side and over to the other side. So let me just get my hair so you can see my shoulders. So we're not leaning, we're not tilting in that way. We're just pushing straight out to the side, okay? So there's gonna be some tension in the side and we push straight out to the other side and we push straight out to the other side. So you're trying to keep it as steady as you can from side to side, okay? And keep those shoulders straight, soldier, okay? So after we've done a couple of these, okay, we're gonna add a knee. Now, when we have a knee in the lean, generally the knee is coming inwards, okay? So the knee's gonna come in, and what that's gonna do is force the opposite hip to, to push out a little bit, okay? So the weight is, is, the weight is here, but it's pushing over so that there'll be a line all the way from this shoulder down to that foot. Okay, and through the center, and we lean to the other side, and we're going through the center, and we're gonna to lean to the other side. Now, very important when you start doing these, you don't start tilting one shoulder back. We wanna keep the body as centered as we can. Okay, we're just adding a lean. And there'll be a stop in between the leans. So we'll have one, two, three, four, when we do it with the knee. Without the knee, it'll just be side to side, but with the knee, we're gonna introduce a stop there just so you have some time to get from side to side. And you don't have to drop super low. You can keep it gentle, but just, just to get the feeling of that shoulder and hip thing going on. Okay, so then after that, we're going to go into some, um, a, a type of chest circle or chest isolation using the ribs, okay? So you're gonna push out that lean again, but not with the legs, leave the knees where they are. Just push out that lean, okay? Then you're gonna come through the center like we're doing an up from an up down bounce. Okay, so make sure you practice your bounces. And then we're gonna drop it into the left side and then we'll bring it in like the down from an up down bounce. Then we're gonna go back the other way to the left, back into that up shape, drop it onto the right. Again, making sure those shoulders are staying straight and steady and then we bring it down, okay? So after we've done two of those in pieces, we're gonna do them as a roll. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna just do only a few of those because they're less important than the leans and the shoulder rolls, which will come after. So now this is a shoulder isolation. So the shape is quite similar, but it's a little bit smaller. A, a full chest isolation uses all of the upper body, whereas a shoulder one is just using the top of the upper body, just the top of the chest and the shoulders. So we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna go lift the shoulder up, then you come through the chest. So both shoulders are up and the chest is high. Sorry, both shoulders are back and the chest is high. Then we drop into the left shoulder and drop it into the middle. So two shoulders are forward. And we bring it back over to the left, lift that shoulder up. Whoop, chest up, shoulders back. Right shoulder up and down the center. And we'll do that again. And down and one, a two, a three, a four. And then we'll roll it slowly through and back the other way and back the other way and back the other way. So we'll do a couple of those, okay? After that, we're going to make a teeny tiny roll, okay? So the roll is gonna get really short. It's just gonna go left, right, really short. You can even just go shoulder, shoulder, but ideally you get me a left, right, okay? So now the right shoulder's up. Then we're gonna pop in a 90 degree arm and we're gonna go down to the wrist and down. 
and then you're going to give me another shoulder to the other side to the left pop up the 90 degree arm wrist and down left to right 90 degree wrist down right to left 90 degree wrist and down and this is an extension of what we did in review two where we had elbow and wrist so that now we're going shoulder elbow wrist okay eventually this is going to turn into a full arm wave but not right now right now we're staying with just this to get our bodies ready for it okay so shoulder shoulder elbow and wrist now we're going to do these slowly at first and then they're going to get faster when they get faster what's going to happen is the elbow wrist is going to become like one move so it's not going to be so one two it's going to be quite fast so it's going to go a one two okay but there'll be a slower one first and then we'll we'll speed it up after that okay after that we're going to go into hips okay so we're going to bend the knees a little bit and we're going to push to the right side back left and forward and left back right and forward okay and then after we've done that a couple of times we'll make it a full circle okay and then we're going to do shoulders and hips together so same thing but we're going hip so push out the right hip lift up the left shoulder we've got that nice diagonal going on there then we pull both of them back hips back shoulders back chest high bring it over to the left side right shoulder is up and then we bring it forward like we're doing a down bounce, okay? And then we just go back the other way, two to two, and then we'll do circles, flowing them together, okay? For the last bit, what we're gonna do is practice our heel toes, which you should have lots of practice in. So we're gonna do these by themselves at first, right? And then after we've done those a little bit, what, you're, what, I'm, what I would like you to do is to introduce a lean. So you're gonna push away you're going to lean away as you as you step okay so right foot push into the right so you're leaning into the right so the left hip is pushing out and push out so you're pushing out the hip of the other foot all the time okay but you're leaning in with the shoulders or leaning against with the shoulders okay and we this is actually a move that comes up from time to time it does get used the lean so that's why we're going to do it here so it's just a way to um, keep practice on those heel toes because they are tricky. So it's good to keep them in practice, but also to add a little bit of um, chest and hip movement to it as well. So that's it. That's going to cover the whole song. Okay, so I'm going to go get the music now. If you're not ready yet, go over this part of the video again. Check, check any moves you feel like you need to check. And then when you're ready, hit play again and we'll start with the music. Okay. All right, let's get started. Three, four.
four, let's get ready. Cue, to, go. One. Well done on doing review three. Now, if you're doing the feedback version of the 30 day program, take your time to practice this before you send me a video so that I can give you the best feedback for you. So you can give it a couple of days before you send over the video. That's fine. Okay. And um, make sure to practice that routine at least two or three more times today and try and do it one or two more times after this each day as well um, to keep up as we're going through the program. Even if you're not doing the program, it's a really good way to, to keep practicing, okay? So you can now replace review two with this one, review three, or you can add it and you can be, maybe you're doing all three every day. That would be amazing if you're doing that, stunning. Um, but otherwise you can just re uh, replace your warm up time with review three. And you can keep that going until we do review four in a couple of days, okay? So y'all are awesome and I will see you again soon. Bye.